Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to create uh, and this nice um, broken up kind of text. Yeah, and uh, make it look nice. So, um, first thing you want to do is open up uh, Cinema 40, obviously, and uh, yeah. So once it's open, go to Render Settings and go to Output. And just, um, I like to use this setting right here, but, um, if you want it lower quality, I would suggest, uh, either this one, or, um, this one. So, uh, for today, I'm going to use, uh, 1080p here. Next, um, right away, you can add the effect ambient illusion and global illumination. And uh, you can just leave the settings for that. Go to save and uh, pick whatever file. Um, JPEG is good. I usually like to set it at 100. And uh, uncheck include sound. And And select a place to uh, save what you want to render. So uh, I'm just going to create a new folder here called uh, X Breaker. And uh, double click on it and just give it a name. Just put a uh, And uh, that's it. Oh yeah, and you want to send your anti-analyzing the best. And yep. Yeah. So first you want to do is uh, go to this uh, little ball of light thing with the arrows and drag down and uh, click on floor and right click on floor. And go MoGraph tags and give it a rigid body tag. Next, you want to create, I guess you create a light now, create an area light and uh, rotate it around uh, 90 degrees. And uh, move it up just so um, the edges are not getting lit, but um, the middle is. And uh, this probably doesn't make a difference, but there. And uh, next, you can create a sky, and uh, that's all you have to do for that. And next you can finally create your text. So for your text you wanna go um object object and uh go middle. Type in whatever you want. Sorry I have to type with one hand so I'm slow. Pick a font. Uh, preferably one that's quite bold, bold, and uh, yes, yeah, so I have this one called Tantor, and uh, that works good. Make your depth about 160 or so, maybe a little bit less, 130, and uh. I can adjust the height if it's too big. Like that. I suggest creating a camera. Let's create a camera. And, uh, you see, I have a camera here. Right here. Ah. Right there, you have a camera now. So, uh, 
you're in the editor camera, so if you want to switch to the camera, just go scene cameras and camera. And if you want to edit something without moving the camera, just go editor camera. It's a nice feature. So, uh, let's look the text again. And, uh, give it some... Oh, never mind, don't select the text. Select the light and give it um, an area shadow. Go to shadow and decrease the density to 45. Then, uh, what you want to do is uh, select your text, go plugins. Uses scripts, and we're gonna call. We're gonna um, use a script called Xbreaker. It's free. I'll give you the link in the description and uh, for the font as well. So there we go. I recommend uh, three or four pieces. And uh, let's press break now. There we are. So, uh, let's select all of the, all of the, ah, I have to put you down. Select all of the text objects and let's move it up a little bit. And, uh, you can, could have done that before you broke it, but I decided to do it after. Okay, so you can move the slider just down the line here and you can see that it will start breaking once it hits the floor. So uh, how I got the effect I showed you is I just stopped it at about, sorry, I stopped it at about there or maybe one more. And then I... And, um, and I rendered it out, so it's pretty good. And also, I changed the colors here. You can see inside and outside color. So you can see the inside color. I just put like in bright something. Let's just put it as like a yellow or something. Then give it a reflection. Go texture, frenzy. Make the brightness of the reflection about five. Make the brightness or the mix strength about three. Maybe a little bit more, maybe seven. And that looks good. Maybe widen the speculator a bit. And then uh, that's all you have to do for that. The outside color and make it white. A specular and make the specular a little bit brighter. That's about it. And then uh, you can see uh, what it looks like here. It's, oops. Sorry, wait. I want to select the region here. I'm just going to select this T here. And uh, Render it out, see how it looks like. So yeah, it looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's in the tutorial. Hope you liked it. Hope you uh, enjoyed the new plugin. And uh, I'll see you later. Also, to uh, render the full thing out, just press this uh, button here, and uh, it'll start rendering. So, uh, I'll show you what the final thing is uh, look like. So, uh, yep. Yeah.